Hello, this is Broyer, and welcome back to another episode of our Let's Play for Farming Simulator 22. As we continue our start from scratch run here on Zalanka. Continuing to get ready to feed my kids some cereal. Because we've got, uh, we're doing the transition there. Just need to get the corn, and then we can set up the cereal factory, and we're good to go. I need to put some more uh, lime down on the grass field for sure. I'll check the other three fields here in a second as well. Got our barn set up, got all our stuff in there, so it looks pretty good. Let me go check out this over here. Yeah, we'll have to get this as well. All right, fair enough. And then about the corn, I'm sure the corns are probably okay because we haven't harvested yet, but once we harvest, I'm sure it will need to get limed two yeah maybe we'll see we'll figure it out in a moment all right let's get that rolling um actually what i should have done and i may do now let me just stop you for a second let me get you turned around but i'm going to have you swap with the case because we can actually run the uh sprayer for the fertilizer as well let's get you set up there you go get the fertilizer. I not have enough fertilizer over here. I'm going to have to go get some more. Yeah, it's not very much. Let's go see if we get any at the store. If not, we'll buy some more. Get that rolling. While I'm waiting on this, let me grab you. Get you set up over there on the lime. Get that going as well. That looks good. Is this lime or is this fertilizer? I always forget. That is for okay. That's all I thought that was fertilizer, but wanted to check. Uh, what is that? Is that herbicide? That looks like that is fertilizer over on the left here. Perfect. We do have some lime over here still. Actually, not a lot. So let's grab some more. We'll say it's nice having the farm <laughs> literally across the street from the from the store. Makes things easy, easy. Turned around here before I get up, up there. All right, I'm going to get the stuff fertilized and limed, and I will bring you guys right back. All right, we're done with the uh, fertilizing. We're done with the lime on this field. We still got to get some on the cornfield once we get harvested that. That won't happen for a couple more months now. Uh, I believe it's September is when we're going to be selling something. Let's probably go look and see what that is here in just a moment. Let me go see. 
September. Actually, it's October for raisins. I was wrong. All right, cool. Then that is fine. I think we're just ready to fast forward now. We got everything going. Grass is looking good. Uh, been fertilized. Everything looks good there. Cool. Let's go. All right, got one more month till we mow. Like one more month until we do the, uh, oh, or corn, I should say. I think this is pretty much just a dead month for us. We're just going to check things real quick, make sure nothing looks overloaded or in a bad state. Not sure why the water's not draining. Apparently, apparently I bugged it out for some strange reason. I'm not sure how that happened. I just put the little water jug down and now it's just permanently full of water for some reason. Um, I'll just check the prices just in case it might fluctuates a little bit. Because actually now it's saying September. Uh, you know what? If it's saying September, we probably will sell. Let's go ahead and sell, because why not? I don't think there's any reason not to. It's above the, the price that we normally go. I think we're actually going to go to the supermarket. It's only a $10 difference. I just like the idea of going somewhere different. So let's grab you. Let's grab our trader, which is right here. And go pick up some raisins. Definitely gonna need the money because we're a bit tight right now. Oh, early grass still a very good price for the grape juice. I was hoping some of these other ones would get to a better price in February, so we'll probably hold off. Right, let me set this to only pick up the raisins. Uh, type. Sorry, not type. Uh, what is it? Filter. There we go. Raisins. Set to raisins, still set to raisins. That's all we can get. Okay. That's all we can get. So where is the supermarket? I think it's over here somewhere, isn't it? Farmer's market. Is it this one up here? Supermarket's right there. Alright. Let's tag it. As soon as we get the corn next month, we will probably go ahead and just, if we need to get a little extra money to get the cereal factory down, we'll probably take whatever loan we need to take at that point. We need a little bit of a loan now. Even though primarily we're going to be using a loan for the cows, and so that loan won't be super needed once we get a little bit of the stuff sold. We're just not at the right time of the month to sell everything, and I don't want to delay the, uh, the cereal any more than we have to. Whoa. I was kind of looking off into the distance <laughs> and I completely flipped this thing upside down. I was not paying attention at all. I was looking, uh, truth be told, I was kind of thinking about that little pond right there. And I was like, wow, that looks really nice. That's pretty cool. And then I just wasn't paying attention. It's just gonna flip me upside down, isn't it? Eh, let's see, wh who flips who? I'm sure the trailer's gonna flip us, right? Excuse me, car. Excuse me, excuse me. <laughs> Would not be me playing Farming Simulator if I didn't flip a tractor every every few episodes. 
Oh, okay, I did flip. Alright, let's just unload. Oh, is it really unblocked? Really? Uh, is it because of the side? There we go. There we go. We have to reset this, we will. Let me get this figured out. I'll be right back. Alright, we're back. We're good. No harm, no foul. Just kind of funny. <laughs> Every once in a while to flip a tractor. That was a good flip, too. I completely flipped upside down. I don't think I flipped it upside down in a little... I don't know if I've ever... Have I flipped it upside down before? I know I flip sideways all the time. Flipping completely upside down. That's crazy. Alrighty. What, 42 plus 6. So we got about, what, almost 50,000 bucks from that, didn't we? Let's see how much it actually was. Sold product. What am I looking for? Oh, not 50,000. Sorry. Wait. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 43,637 plus the additional 6,300. So that was almost exactly $50,000. Nice. Okay, that's good. And we do, I think we have the full 15% now, finally. Uh, yeah, we're at 15% on our boost, which is perfect. Uh, another 50,000 bucks. Actually, if we got another trailer load, do we? I don't think we have another full trailer load. If we did, though, we could just buy the grain factory now and be ready to roll. We get the corn set up here momentarily. Actually, let me get the rest of this dropped off. I don't I don't want to waste time just doing this. I want to make sure we get the corn in this episode, so I'll be right back. All right, we're back. We only had about half a load for the second set of raisin stuff, so that's okay. Still got us almost 100,000 bucks total at the moment. Um, and at this point, I think we will distribute the raisins because we are about to have the, the, the factory. So no point in selling any more now. We'll get that rolling. What else do we want to do, though? Next thing to sell will not be until... Looks like January, February, March, somewhere around that range. So... Yeah, no more money. We'll have to get a loan to get the factory set up, but I don't think that's too big of a problem. Let's go ahead and fast forward and get ready to both mow and harvest our corn. Pretty big month for us. Lots of stuff going on. All right, so corn should be good to go. Just to confirm. Yep, ready to harvest. All right, let's go grab our corn header. I'll just grab the, honestly, we'll probably just grab the John Deere one here, because why not? Or, yeah. Doesn't really matter, honestly. No, I do not want to purchase it. That was close. And then we will return the uh, harvester and the header after this. We'll, we'll plan on getting a better one next time around. Let's go. Our corn's going. Um, let's get you set up to mow. Right? Yes? No? Maybe so? 
Yes. I start putting the back in there first instead of the front. That way we can have the weight from the front help us out here. Balances out a bit. While you're going, let me let me just get see if we can get a loan enough to go ahead and buy the cereal thing. I mean, is there any reason not to just take the full amount? I don't think so. I mean, it's not the best interest rate, but it's gonna be fine, and we're probably gonna pay it off pretty quickly, actually. I was like, what is the what's the period thing here? I was like, I'm confused. Uh, it took me a moment. Uh, how long do we want this to be? Like 24 or something like that? We don't really need too much. I don't care if it's something like that. Just save us a little bit of a little bit of money. Again, we might pay it off sooner once we feel like we're in a good spot. Let's get a year-long loan. That'll get us some time enough to get hopefully a round of cereal going and. That'll effectively be what helps pay it off. Oh, I just did 12 years. Oh, I misunderstood. I mean, it's fine, but I misunderstood. Uh, you're over here close enough. Let me just jump out and head over here. Figure out where we're going to put the cereal factory now. All right, cereal. Let's go and look for construction. Probably back over here somewhere. Maybe just, maybe just kind of over here. I mean, I don't know if we need to leave space for more um, grape stuff or not. I don't think we will. But even if I just stick it kind of off over here to the side a little bit more, it will have enough space for grapes, more, a couple more grapes if we need to. And we can always put more grapes back here along, you know, behind the, behind the, the water there. So let me back it off again, away from the... Uh, Do I have it set on 1%? I do have it set on 1%. There we go. Let me just back it off a little bit from the edge of the road and something like that will be okay. Let me just get in here and fix the inevitable bad landscaping that just got happened. That is a giant factory. Well, tall at least. Soften. All right. Everything's softened out here on the edge. I guess we'll use that one. All right, I think that's about as good as it's going to get. All right. We have a cereal factory. It is a, <laughs> it's a skyscraper in this town at the moment. That is giant. Um, and yeah, obviously we're going to be making cereal. So it's one, one, two, and two. I think I already looked this up a long time ago, and I just totally forgot what it was. One, one, two, two. So we actually might need... We might have raisins left over. I don't know. Um... Let's see, how many raisins are we going to need? Because we based on how much we can get from the, the field, right? In oats, we have 16,000 liters, effectively. So we're going to need 8,000 liters, 8, liters of raisins. 
uh, to, to cover that. Uh, but it also depends on how many how much corn we have. I think we're going to get potentially more corn. I don't know. I think corn usually stacks up higher. I could be wrong. Um, but even then, 8,000 liters of raisins is... Like, we're going to be able to have raisins to sell, aren't we? Yeah, that's, that's like a month and a half of raisins, not even. So we're going to have plenty of raisins to sell. And then the honey. Honey is going to be problematic. We're not getting a lot of honey, but we should still be okay. Yeah, we're really not going to get a lot. 16,000 liters. Is, it's actually 16,000 liters of cereal that we're going to end up with, which is... I mean, it's, it's okay. It's not, the point isn't to get a lot. The point is just to have fun making a different product that we've never made before. Um, 16,000, so 16 times 27. I should be able to do that math in my head. Plus the bonus should be about $45,000. It's not a lot. Really not, but, you know, it's okay. I'll start dropping off some um, grain, and then we'll get the honey dropped off. How's our corn doing, actually? Oh, he's actually almost full of me. I'll probably just start with the corn. It's also possible we just need to buy more fields to be able to stockpile this thing fully. We're definitely gonna have plenty of raisins stockpile. It really, the honey's probably the bigger blocker of anything. Because we can always add, I mean, we can definitely add more corn and grain fields and, and oat fields, I should say. I think we're going to end up with more corn than we have uh, oat. Even though the oat field is the bigger field. This corn's just high volume. Higher volume, I guess. I like our little setup over here. It's pretty cool. I'm happy with this. Some of you are going to have some raisin stock bought in there in a moment, right? Not yet. Do I not have the raisin set to distribute? I do. I think it just needs to tick over by an hour. I think, I think it does it hourly. So once we get the raisins going, we already got this turned on. We'll get some oats, get the honey, and then we can actually start making cereal finally. Yay. But if I, it's a big transition, though. I mean, there's a lot of stuff that goes into this, so. I mean, the vegetables are pretty straightforward and easy, right? They're just vegetable goes into factory, factory produces whatever, right? Soup or baby food. Whereas this is, needs several layers. All right, now that we have this, we are going to go ahead and set the grape juice to auto sell. Because I'm not gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take what we've got, but then I'm not gonna worry about it after that. Could be cedar. Sorry. We'll get this dropped off. We'll get the uh, honey dropped off. And we'll probably call the episode there with us actually starting to produce some cereal. Pretty happy about that. Really, all that's next is to figure out the loan for the cows. Because we've got 
We got silage, we got straw. We need to get some hay. Which I guess I could do with the current load. Um, just to get a little bit of hay going. Probably not a terrible idea, actually. Get that tatted. Uh, oh, no, I was going to do that. I should not have. Oh, I wind rode it. So I guess we'll still do the silage for now. But we will get the hay going soon. Uh, let me set this to, for now, distributing just so we don't, it doesn't spit it out just yet. Here, wait for the rest of the corn. You're good. Let me grab you. Pick up as much honey as you can. Not a lot of honey. It's only got to be about 8,000 liters, though. For, for now, 8,000 liters per, per year to get us enough honey for... Um, the cereal factory and what it's able to produce, which I think we're going to be a little bit short of, but I, I just don't know how much. It's hard to really gauge how much we're getting since it's such small quantities per month. I think we basically get a pallet per month, and each pallet is for. Let's see, one, two, three. How much is each pallet? 640, I guess. Is that what I just saw? No, 400, 400 liters. And so, uh, I could have done that. That's for 12 times. Yeah, duh. <laughs> Now that I know what it is, I'm like, I should have figured that out already because the math is easy. Uh, 400 liters. Um, so let's say we get about 400 liters per month. Then 5,000 liters is basically a year, right? 4,800 liters. And I think we said, oh, actually, I think we said we need 8,000 liters. So that's actually more than a year. We will need another beehive uh, producing stuff if we're going to get enough honey for this. There's another beehive. Look, spit out to the same location and then we can just gather twice as much or is it limited honestly don't i have no idea i haven't really done much with bees all right we're just waiting for raisins to get pushed over and then we are we are making some cereal let me just uh fast forward to the to the next month see if the raisins will skip on over They did. Good. All right. Figured they would. Just making sure. Cool. We are finally making some cereal, guys. We got seven boxes of cereal. That'll, that'll at least take my care of my kids for about, you know, an hour. That's about how much they, cereal they eat in an hour. Is five, seven boxes, I should say. Um, <laughs> but yeah, we're going to put a cut in there. We've got cereal, guys. This is we're, we're, We are well on our way to phase number two of this operation. Just got to get the other half, which is the cows, which is going to be very expensive. Probably never really going to be profitable for us, but still, I think it's going to be fun. Just kind of mess around with and do. So we'll get those figured out here in a bit. Uh, but for now, we're cruising. I'm, I'm happy with things. So hopefully you guys are enjoying it as well. I do appreciate you guys watching. May God bless you. And I hope you join me again next time. Thank you and goodbye. I wanted to give a special shout out to the following channel members. Thank you so much for supporting the channel.